I was called to come and diagnose this Jaguar SJ 2004 model. The sounder is not working. So whenever you put at reverse, you wouldn't hear the beeping sound. So now I'll scan the whole system and jump into the control module itself. But I'll ignore all the other codes and go into the parking aid module itself because that was what I was called to come and do. So I'll just, after scanning the whole system, I'll jump into the parking aid system and get there and check the fourth code and start the test to test if it is from the control module itself or it is from the sounder itself. So now, after scanning the whole system, I'll go into the parking aid unit itself and check the fourth code that is out. And it reported the sounder. The sounder is short circuit. And the other one, so I'll, I'll go back. And go to live data and check. It's, it's non front parking aid because it has only the real sounder. So I'll go to non front parking aid and check the real sounder. And you can see the status of the sounder in it is inactive. And the sensors are all showing 3 millimeters, 3 millimeters, 3 millimeters. That means there is no object close to it. So now I'll go back to the vehicle and check so I'll check if I'll get the response that I need from all the sensors so now I'm close to two sensors and it went to zero and I'm moving towards the other two and they two went to zero that means I'm getting correct signal from the sensors so I have to go into the I have to go and check the sounder unit if it's from the control module or it is from the sounder itself which is not working so you can see the sounder status is inactive and apart from that everything is working when I engage the reverse everything is working so check the sounder itself I'll erase the fourth code first and rescan the system and see the fourth code that I'll, I'll get back so that means so it's reporting the real sounder failure so real sounder real uh, sounder control failure so I'll go back and go and check it and check the wiring system and everything and this is the wiring diagram concerning the location of the sounder and everything and because I'm not having the front the front sounder or I'm not having the front parking aid system so I'll choose only the real I'll choose only the real one and check it and check the pin number as it is pin 15 and 16 
go check the pins out and then go to the control module itself so i'll select only the sounder the real sounder and it, it, I, I, it shares the same ground with the front sounder but this vehicle has only one which is the real sounder So I'll go to the control module itself and check the circuits and see if everything is okay and see if I'm having continuity in the circuits. So here I have located the real sounder module which is at the trunk or the boot of the vehicle where the spare tire is kept. So now I've taken the socket out. I've taken the socket out from the control module and that's the control model the real sounder control model So I've taken it out. So I'll jump The two pins which goes to the real sounder. So I'll, I'll jump those two pins and Go and check for continuity from the location of the sounder itself And that's the location of the real sounder. So I've taken the socket out from the real sounder and I've jumped the two ways just to get a continuity and know that the circuit is okay. So before I can tell the customer that it is from the sounder itself. So I'll place the two pins in and you could hear the the beep. Place the two pins in, and it's beeping. Sorry, you can you can hear. So now, after getting the beep, I'll take the socket, the pins out, and fix the socket back into the system, into the control module. That means the circuit is okay. So now, after fixing it back, I'll try and test for bias voltage so I'll push the cover back and then lock it with the yellow locker which helps the which helps the socket not to come out from the cover itself the cover helps it to lock into the module so now it is locked so now I'll plug it back into the control module itself. Plug it back into the control module. And now I'll go and test for a BIOS voltage because with this circuit system I have to get a BIOS voltage which helps the system or the, which helps the control unit itself to identify that the module is wrong because of the resistance which helps the module to identify if the sensor or the part connected the output is wrong the output is faulty so now when i test it with the test lights i can get a power from it and it drops the bias voltage to 5 volts so when i release the test light you, you see it to be 11.3 but when I test, when I use the test light, it drops the voltage down to 5.0, which means the bias voltage is working all right, and it helps the sensor, it helps the control module to know whether the output. I'll go to Jaguar and select Jaguar, so I'm going to auto select. And the VIN is already red. Jaguar is G. Yes. Then this one I'll go direct to the country to the unit itself, which is parking aid. Parking aid control module. Uh, 
rest under failure. So now, I'm going to escape and shut the system down. The real sounder is located here, so I have to take off this car. So now, the car is at rest. So I will check. France and sounder not active. Real sounder active, but it's not beeping. And The sound is active in the distance measure. So now I am behind the sensor and it goes zero. And the other side too also goes zero. That means the sensors are working, but the sounder is not working as the fourth code was given. <laughs> So it's not working. So I will place the sounder. This is the location of the sounder. After taking. So I will replace the sounder. And this is the new sounder. That I'll be replacing. This is it. And this is the part number on the case, on the box. So I have, I have connected the circuit to the new sounder. So that is sounding. So I put on ignition. And change to reverse. And the status is to <laughs> so me. So now it is sounding. And now the sounder is working. So now anytime I move close to it, so you see the inactive sounder status will go into active. Yeah. Now it is active. So now the sounders are working. Yeah. And how far I go away from it, it depends on the beep. And how close I am away from it. So now the sounder is working. So I'll pack every, I'll pack everything, and clear the fourth coat. So now I'll place it back. and turn off the ignition and turn off the ignition so now I've packed everything back and there is the old sounder I've packed everything back turn the ignition on and check now put that to reverse. Mm, yeah. So now I go there without the mash. So that you see. Yeah, now the sender is working. The higher the closer I go.
So now I'll go back to clear the fourth coding. So clear here is fourth queen. Yeah. No fourth queen. So recycle the ignition. And do recycle the ignition for five seconds. And turn on the ignition again. And risk can no fourth good. So now the fix is done. 